Hi everybody, this is Diane from Soul Places, uh, where we celebrate all the places that your soul hides and shines. And today I want to share my spiritual toolbox with you. <clears throat> um, I tried to do this a couple weeks ago and I screwed it all up, so I deleted it. So we're doing it again. <laughs> and, um, so thanks for for tuning in if you're catching the replay just uh, hashtag replay in the comments and let me know where you're watching from and um, So this back here. This is my toolbox. I actually have uh, It's a diamond plated heavy-duty toolbox that I went out and got like um, eight or ten years ago when I decided I needed a spiritual toolbox so this thing's and the heavy duty and full of all the tools that I use when I um, am going through a rough patch or wondering like, what's going on how do I get out of this rut what are my tools so I hey Lori <laughs> thanks for joining in um, so I put a bunch of things in the toolbox and it changes it's a fluid moving living thing of its own so it changes a lot um but i'm just gonna go over what i mostly have in it like the real hardcore stuff that i go to when i need to get back on track or feel inspired um so one of the big things i have in there is i have a tank top in there and so this reminds me to exercise that exercise is really really important for me for not just my physical body, but my mental health too. So um, I've been doing hot yoga lately and I love that. I highly recommend it. it has helped a lot with my pain and um, I'm more flexible and gaining strength. Um, so, but I also like to get out in nature. That's kind of my religion, I guess. I get out in nature and go for hikes and soak up the, uh, yeah, Lori, <laughs> I know you, you've got, your horse too so I like to go out and see my horse and those sort of things are really good for me um, and then so I've got books like tons and tons of books and I don't keep them all in there because I'm usually reading them so you can put placeholders in your toolbox like little notes um, you know I'm borrowing this book from the toolbox but don't forget about it or you know you can put little placeholders in there to remind yourself um, but I kind of my go-to spiritual practice is the Toltec um, Four Agreements. And there is actually a fifth now. And then um, my mentor um, wrote a book called The Zero Point Agreement, which I've added to that. So for me, there's technically six agreements. Um, and mentors are so important for me. I seek out people that can teach me what I need to know and people that will keep me accountable and moving in the right direction. Um, so I have the the six agreements is kind of my spiritual go-to. Uh, some people will have the Bible or the Tao of Pooh or you know whatever whatever really gets you in that mindset and on track for like self improvement and and being connected and helping the world be be a better place. Um, <clears throat> so if you just comment, what what's your spiritual go-to book? Um, like I also like poetry. This is a collection Robert Bly put together of a bunch of different poets. So that's a little bit of my religion or my spiritual go-to as well as poetry. Um, so if you want to comment any books that you recommend, I, I love to just explore different things too. So uh, drop me a comment on your favorite book that really gets you grounded or inspires you. Um, the, another one of my mentors, I've never met this, this particular person, but Parker Palmer. Um, he's kind of one of my gurus too that I love. He just, he simplifies things and um, he's just great for like leadership, leadership tools um, that I love to read too for self-improvement. Um, I love science. I have a degree in animal science. So I'm reading this mitochondria and the future of medicine right now. So those sort of things just really feed my soul. I keep a lot of books in my toolbox. 
Um, I also like crystals. So this is my Mook Jasper or Mookite. Um, you know, these feel like living creatures to me too. And I just, I love my crystals. I have some selenite or um, citrine. And this is my selenite wand, which I use a lot when I write. Um, just to kind of activate my hand. Um, it has a little fluorite um, tip on it too, which is real great for mental clarity. Um, I have an amethyst. I have a bunch of these around the house. Um, and then some clear crystal. So <clears throat> I love my crystals. Um, I have also this little, little bitty <laughs> Buddha <laughs> to remind me of my meditation practice that that really helps ground me and clear the noise from my head. Um, I also have this little, this little fairy. She totally just makes me think of, it's not really coming in clear, um, but she, she reminds me of sort of my inner child and to take care of her and honor her. Um, but she's just really contemplative too, which is the adult me. I like to sit and daydream and, um, so I like this little this little gal too. Helps remind me of who I am, and um, and then I also love essential oils. I love to anoint myself with oils. They have a high vibration, you know. They're from plants, and um, so I've always been a big big fan of network marketing for like 20 years. When I first was introduced to um, network marketing, I thought this is this is going to be my jam someday. Um, you know, you get residual income. It's a great, great business plan. Um, it's just finding the right service or product, you know, and I finally this year did that. <laughs> um, it's not essential oils, but I have been a customer of Young Living for probably over 15 years. <clears throat> Love their oils. Um, doTERRA is a newer company that also has um, therapeutic grade oils. Um, I can hook you up if you want to buy some of these. I know distributors. So, um, and then there's this other gal um, who's a veterinarian who started a practice. Um, I think she only does essential oils in her vet practice now. She doesn't do traditional medicine, but she started her own line of oils. Um, she, it is not a network marketing company, but if you have animals, and you want to use oils, I would recommend this gal and I can hook you up with her too for that. Um, so essential oils and the minerals <clears throat> are great. Hey Maria, thanks for joining. Um, so those things are great for keeping me on track with, um, you know, maybe I just need a little anointing or I need to sit and ground myself or, you know, get activated with some amethyst. Um, I also have this green smoothie revolution book in my uh, in my uh, spiritual toolbox because food is super important super important um, putting in good high vibration foods is really really good for your body um, so I have that book in there I have um, this journal that I love It's so beautiful um, I've yet to use it. It's kind of like the china in the cabinet <laughs> where I need to use it. Um, but it, this inspires me to travel. So that does my spirit lots and lots of good to travel. And um, I really find what I'm made of when I go out and I have to find my way in a foreign country or a foreign place. Um, so I have this journal in there as kind of a placeholder for my travels. Um, I love music. So I've got this album in there a friend of mine um i love her little red shoes um so music really inspires me and kind of raises my vi vibration and i'll get dancing around and um so that's another thing that i have in my spiritual toolbox here i'm going over over what i keep in my spiritual toolbox <clears throat> hey wendy thanks for joining um <clears throat> the i also love to hand write cards so I've got a variety of, you know, here's my, and I love to support local artists. Um, so I've got a variety of cards that I love to just hand write. And um, yeah, Wendy, I've been loving your lives too, man. You're doing, you're really rocking it. Um, 
So I love to handwrite cards to people. That um, so I actually did an exercise a couple weeks ago where I hand wrote cards to all of my new customers in my business, and it was the probably one of the best practices I've done in a long time for my spirit and my heart. It opened my heart so much. I had so much gratitude for these people and that they were um, taking the steps to um, improve their health. And it was one of the coolest exercises I've done in years was just sending these people love and gratitude. Um, so I really recommend that, like hand write letters to people and appreciate them and love on them. Um, so one of my big, big, big tools in my toolbox is my journal. Um, so I've got a stack of these that have been used and a stack waiting to be used. Um, so I try and do this every day. Sometimes it's just a brain dump. Sometimes it's um, getting creative in my, my business or writing. I have a dream to be a writer. And <clears throat> so my journal is a super important spiritual practice. I recommend that. Um, if you have a journaling practice, let me know what it is in the comments. Um, do you do it every day, kind of sporadic? Um, do you do it more as um, just like a record keeping? Um, if you have a journaling practice, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, right, Wendy? <laughs> um, yeah, so let me know what your journaling practice is, is. I love it, you know, there's so many different ways to do it. As many people as there are journal practices, there's, there's different ways to do it. Um, so I also, sort of as a meditation, I like to do like mandalas or just color things. You know, this is a great way to empty your brain and it's fun and you get some beautiful artwork <laughs> at the end of it. So, <clears throat> um, and then I, right now I'm doing a uh, 40 day abundance meditation. So these are my mala beads that help keep track during the chanting. So it's 108 chants. Um, and if anybody wants to join me in that, I can hook you up with the mantra for that. So this has been really powerful and getting in touch with my abundance and my inner goddess. So that's been an important practice. I, I'm getting to the giveaway. <laughs> it's coming soon. I've got just, I think there's one more thing I wanted to share with you that I have in my toolbox. And this is something that I did when I got together with a group of women that I had just done a year long course with. And I asked them to write one word that um, that made them think of me or that best described me. And I picked um, a shim as what I wanted them to write on because I think it's a great analogy for, you know, you use a shim to make things level or true. So I thought, gosh, you know, that's what friends do. They really, they prop you up, they make you level, they keep you honest and true. So I picked shims and then my friends just wrote words on there that made them think of me. So this one says indomitable <laughs> and courage. And you know, so I've got this whole stack of words that I can look at and think, wow, people see me that way. I can see myself that way, you know? That's another great, great thing that friends do for us. Um, so I would recommend that and get together with your friends and have, and just write one word that makes you think of them and have them keep it somewhere as a way to prop themselves up. Um, so here, here's my giveaway. Um, so the newest tool in my spiritual toolbox is my, um, these, um, supplements and activators and this has changed everything for me I could try to eat well um, I could try to exercise I could do all these things that I knew were good for me but my body was so full of oxidative stress if you don't know what oxidative stress is drop me a one and I'll explain it quick uh, but basically it's the source of hundreds of diseases it's been linked Hundreds of diseases have been linked to oxidative stress. So I started taking in here, this little yellow pill has been scientifically proven. So there's peer reviewed studies and universities that have done studies on this test. Um, my company did not pay to have these tests done. 
Um, but this little yellow pill has been scientifically proven to extend life and reduce um, oxidative stress by 40% in 30 days. Uh, so that's a game changer. <laughs> and then this other, these two little pills in here next to it are, um, so you know, I showed you that book on mitochondria that I love, my science geek self loves these supplements. They actually activate your body. They activate pathways in your body that get rid of oxidative stress. So you're not putting supplements in your body that your body doesn't recognize, you know, like vitamin C or some of these supplements that m might be synthetic and your body is like, I don't know what to do with this. So it's gonna store it away in a polyp in your colon or in your fat, or it's gonna store it away somewhere because it doesn't know how to use it. So these pills actually activate your body to do what it's supposed to do because we're just inundated with stress all day long from pollution, even the foods we eat are not great for us. Um, yeah, right, Lori? <laughs> um, so this two, these two little pills, they actually work on your mitochondria, which is the energy center of your cell. And if your mitochondria is damaged, it's gonna replicate more damaged mitochondria. So these two little pills help restore your mitochondria. So when your body goes to replicate it and takes a photocopy, of that mitochondria, it's healthy and repaired and can go on to then replicate more healthy mitochondria, which is energy in your DNA. And yeah, Wendy, I was such a science geek too. Um, there is, yes, I will um, send you some research and information. Yeah, this definitely um, has helped people alongside traditional cancer treatments. Um, I will send you some information. This is this is really life changing. <laughs> Activators here, um, and then so the other thing I've been taking is this little these three in the middle are the probiotics, and so the industry standard for probiotics is four percent will actually get to where it's supposed to be. There's um there's two patents on well, so there's actually like seven patents on this little yellow pill. So it's all natural ingredients, but they have, um, they have patented the synergy of those ingredients that proves that it works. And so then they've got two patents on these probiotics that, have, uh, that protects the probiotic to get through the acid of the stomach to where it's supposed to be, to have up to 60% of the probiotics get to where they're supposed to be. So, you know, that's our, our immune system is in our intestines and there's even research to show we have like another brain in our intestines. There's more nerve endings in our intestines than in our brain. So that was super exciting for me and that has helped immensely. I can now absorb nutrients better than I ever could. And then these last three here are the um, omegas. So your healthy fats. And it's fish oil, um, but it's not been sitting on a shelf at GNC for how many months? And so this is another thing where if your fish oil is old and goes rancid, that can actually create more problems than, than helping you. So rancid supplements is going to be another one of those things where your body is like, I don't know what to do with that, and I'm going to put that somewhere else and it's going to cause other problems so these these little fish oil pills you can track them from the boat to the bottle and you can see how fresh they are you don't get the fishy burps with it um so i'm so excited about these supplements so this is the network marketing company that i found you know i've talked i talked about the um the um <clears throat> essential oils and i am such a supporter of of network marketing companies. I get my horse supplements through a, a network marketing company. They have some of the best products out there. You just need to, to look at them. Um, become a customer of network marketing companies. This is really the future, is this person-to-person -person sales and education. And, and if it becomes something you're interested in as a business, 
there's ton of the, tons of them out there. I'm getting to know more and more people that are in different companies than me. I would recommend any of them. I, of course, am in love with mine because I've seen the results and the science that backs it. Um, so here I'm getting to the giveaway. Uh, so this is one of our other products. It's our energy drink that is all natural and um, it's brain food. So this actually, um, people give it to their kids to help them focus in school. Um, it has helped kids that are on the spectrum focus. Um, it just really gets rid of the mental fog and it helps with my workouts too. Like I have energy to get through my workouts. I used to shake like almost immediately when I would get into my hot yoga class, I'd start shaking and my muscles were already fatigued. I can get through my workout and still feel alive afterwards with this. Um, so this is what I want to give away. Um, I will do, I think I'll do five of them. And all you have to do is comment below, I need brain food. And then I will send you a short video um, that will educate you on it a little bit and tell you all the great, wonderful, natural stuff that's in it. Um, so I'll send you the video, you'll watch it, and then tell me your favorite part. And then you'll be entered into a drawing where I'll do another live on Monday where I'll draw the winner. And then I will send you five samples of this. Um, there's a decaf and a caffeinated version. My husband takes this. He used to drink like 40 ounces of coffee a day. And he takes uh, one of the caffeinated of these and it gets him through his day. If he needs a little pick me up in the afternoon, he'll drink another one or he'll do the decaf. Um, but this has been a game changer for my husband <laughs> to get off of coffee. And coffee in itself is probably not that bad for you, but it was all the sugar he was putting in it and, um, and other things. So um, if you want, if you need some brain food and you wanna get entered in the drawing, just comment below, I need brain food. And then I will send you a video and get you entered into the drawing. So thank you everybody for showing up. Thank you for your support. Um, I really feel your love from afar. Lori and Wendy, thank you so much for staying. Um, and I look forward to seeing you next Monday. We'll see if we get a winner. Um, and have a great rest of your week, everybody. Thank you.